Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Urban Legends video. Let's go ahead and we'll continue your past suggestion videos based on some some Urban Legend topics. Uh, last time I had talked about the women from Lem statue, otherwise known as the Goddess of Death. This particular subject actually has to do with a road. It was suggested a little over or so a year ago and looking and coming through those items I was able to find it and then see some good information related to it I was kinda of debating about whether to add it to my ghost and spirit series but I decided to leave it on the urban legend side because it's not just paranormal stuff that apparently happens here instead it seems to have more of like a cursed aspect to it whatever this road is so Hence, it falls under the urban legend side. But sure enough, it has to do with an infamous road there in Alberta, California called Dyer's Lane. Um, and you're looking at a picture of it here. So looking at some of the information, there's nothing really like, let's say, too bad. I mean, in the sense that like it's like a Bermuda Triangle of sorts. Uh, no, nothing like that. Instead, there are some unfortunate circumstances that have happened throughout the years there including a very bad history back in the 1930s and ever since then it seems like this area there in Alberta California has not had much growth uh, it seems like and looking at some of the way that the locals there report it everything around it seems to have a hit like a nice growth spurt of sorts but this area here is just pretty much remained uh, like a wild pasture of sorts with this with this barely constructed road because looking at some of the videos for it it looks like it's been neglected for decades that this road has now has its infamous status so so what is Dyer Lane again it's a road located there in Alberta California um, if you're there in that location apparently it'll lead to another place called Tanwoods Road which will finally lead to a place called Casser Road and I'm including a picture of how it looks like on maps here. All those roads, by the way, seem to be also haunted. So I don't know necessarily about Tanwoods Road or Castle Road, but it seems like whatever is there in Dyer Lane seems to also kind of shift over to those intersecting roads too. Now, as far as the history of this road, I was mentioning that there was some really bad stuff that happened back then. Yeah, sure. It was back in the 1930s. Apparently, the KKK held secret meetings right in that location, including reports of someone lynching. So, very bad stuff, at least with what happened there. Now, could that stuff have kind of stayed over? There's always that residual factor that I mentioned one time in one of my Ghosts and Spirit series. Could it have created, I guess, an ominous feeling there? Could it have instilled, let's say, um, the sense of dread within that area ever since then and could that explain essentially why there hasn't been much growth there who knows but at least that is definitely part of its history um, other things that have happened there um, it could just be a hundred percent coincidence um, stuff happens on roads every single day no matter whether it's a neglected road like here in Alberta California or a major highway let's say in a busy busy town no, but this kind of stuff seems to stay there. What makes it interesting is that as little as this road is used, there still seems to be a, uh, some unfortunate things that happens there. For example, there was a reports of a cop that was mysteriously killed there. A high school student, someone from Rio Linda, was also apparently murdered there by gang members on that road. And then finally, and this was kind of conflicting because the way the stories I was reading it, it was either two people street racing each other or a drunk driver just by himself. Either way, the result was one of those cars smashed right into the tree with that driver essentially being thrown out of the car and his head smashing into the tree in front of it. Clearly, no seatbelt and nothing else protecting him, so they were killed instantly. But that seems to also be something else that just adds to the doom and gloom of this road whatever it is people if you go by this road today people state that they can see bullet holes in the signs that are there I didn't really see too many signs by the way I'm including a link below of someone that just decided to upload a good six minute video of their trip 
downtown Dyer Lane. You can see it during the day, um, so that way I could give you an idea of, of how it looks like. It does look eerie. Like it's it's weird to see an isolated road in almost the middle of nowhere, nothing else surrounding you except maybe trees and long, long acres of of pasture. And so it's it's one of those things where if you your car dies down there, that's probably the worst spot ever to have that happen. But it was kind of eerie to look at the video and then see pretty much nothing short of let's say uh, these buzzards that were around on on top of the car just kind of like following the car maybe because uh, you know this is an isolated road there wasn't there isn't much activity generally but kind of eerie to see something like that anyways also people uh, whenever they go there they report seeing the uh, signs like either spray painted or tagged along the road you've been looking at some of the pictures of them there um, people also apparently dump a lot of things like there are large sofas there on the side large amounts of debris um, people even actually post their own little messages on the side of the road too I saw one picture which showcased like someone making a makeshift blood trail like let's say coming down a um, uh, I think it was like an elect, not a like a phone post, one of those large wooden posts uh, that that was normally used to carry phone lines. So I saw something like that as well. But yeah, that's just an example of some of the things, some of the weird things that people report as they're going there down that road. Not much else really to talk about as far as like, let's say, concrete examples. People just, again, seem to state what they see and what they hear with regards to that road. Um, I tried to see also if there was any specific, I guess, names, um, because also people report that as far as the ghostly side, they do see like cop cars or apparently disappearing into the road if you can believe it it could it be that actual cop that was killed that I mentioned earlier in the video who knows um, but no name unfortunately as to who that was also people report stating more on the supernatural side where they see a person on a tractor looks nonchalant like a person on a tractor however whenever you stop or you're rolling by and you wave hello to that person they wave back but then they also disappear I tried to see if maybe there was also a trifecta of things like if anyone could report seeing all that's left is stuff involving aliens but no nothing along those lines but overall this road this this dire lane it just seems to have that just that ominous isolated abandoned feeling to check out that that video again I've included the link for it below it's a little cheesy someone added whoever that was they added that I think it was that Friday the 13th song underneath it but it goes to show it gives you a good idea of what that road looks like when you see a lot of stuff like that just pure isolated stuff around you and then every now and then like the video showed some abandoned houses clearly stuff abandoned I didn't see anything as far as someone actively using those places is it's, it's the kind of stuff where you just kind of want to get out of there afterward um, so I would I would definitely go there at least during the daytime kind of like the video the people that were in the video did just to check it out but if anyone has had a chance please post those comments below if you know of this road the Dyer Lane Road there in Everta, California, and you happen to have traveled it or know of someone else that did, that would be really, really awesome to hear. One last thing, though, um, also dealing with isolated stuff. Um, I knew somebody whose friend, their father, so a friend of a friend's father, reported one time involving an isolated road somewhere here in Texas. Unfortunately, no more real information tied to it, but they stated that one time they went there hunting with their friends. Um, I guess they were going, it's like an annual thing of some sort, they just go down there and then they hunt. But they were traveling down an isolated road, and the way they described it was the father to the friend that they saw something that scared the wits out of them like it absolutely 100 percent scared them so much that the way he described it was he was never really a religious man but after seeing whatever this was he absolutely made him a religious person like he suddenly believed in both God and the devil so don't know what that was but I immediately came to mind when I was reading stories about this dire lane and it's supposed haunted cursed type aspect uh, I've always wanted to hear more about that story from 
the friends of a friend's father but no unfortunately he's he's climbed up he's always stated that he's never going to share what occurred and what they saw with regards to um, uh, that that isolated road and they're never going to share like where it was because they don't want anybody else traveling down to it but it instantly just reminded me of this place of this place the dire lane so anyways all right everybody thanks again as always take care